Welcome to Tankwell Equipment, home of Shapman Jamaica. Today we'll be talking about our X3000 tractor head, one of the newest products added to our Shapman line. These trucks start with good visibility. Our projector headlights have running LEDs for daytime driving for your park lights and a protective mesh to prevent any stones from damaging your headlight. Our windshield is wide giving the driver great visibility to his left or right. And speaking of left or right, these trucks are available in both left or right hand drive. It's your choice. This one that we're talking about today is in the color red, but don't let that deter you. If you want blue, if you want white, if you want yellow, the choice is yours. We can customize this truck to whatever color specifications you need. This truck is available in two engine types. We have our Wechai engine or our Cummins engine. And those range in horsepower sizes all the way from 340 all the way up to 430 horsepower. It comes with a 12 speed gearbox. And what that means is that you have six gears that are available in the low range and six that are available in the high range. The size of the displacement is 10.8 liters or 10,800 cc's. This step is what is called a swivel step, and that allows primarily the driver to get inside the truck, but should there be any impact, the truck will conform to the environment to prevent any damage to the bumper. This tire is an 11R22.5, and what that means is that this tire is rated to carry a particular weight. So we have ensured that for your safety, 11R22.5 will carry the tonnage that this truck is designed to haul. This is our Fleet Guard air filter cleaning system. It has two cleaning elements, one larger one on the outside and a smaller one on the inside, and it's responsible for cleaning the air that is pulled into the engine while it is in operation. This large aluminum fuel tank uses only regular diesel. These trucks are Euro 3 specifications and only use regular diesel fuel. So no ultra low in these units, please. This particular tank is 600 liters in capacity. So good for long hauls. Here we have reflectors and marker lights on the side for, the, for safety lights on the side of the unit. This is what is called a tandem axle. Axle to the front, axle to the back, and these tires are also rated at 11R22.5. It comes with a single reduction and allows the, the driver to lock both axles during operation or independently allowing him to have the truck maneuver on different terrains when it becomes applicable. Here we have a spring suspension, and these have four spring suspension blades which allow the truck to be lowered, allowing our fifth wheel, or turntable as we call it, to be just about four feet from the ground. This allows you to get on the most containers that are left and gives you greater flexibility in hauling a variety of containers that are at different heights. Notice our chrome rims that are available as well and standard mesh around our brake lights for protection, mud guards for safety for other road users. Inside here is an alarm that allows pedestrians behind the truck to know when the truck is reversing. Our differential is actually what is called a, a 411 ratio. And this allows you to get good haulage over flat terrain and inclines. Our spare tire, which is only affixed here during shipping, it is normally removed during operation to allow the container to be affixed to the turntable so that it can be hauled without any encumbrances. Here we have our air canisters, and these air canisters are aluminum, but primarily provide this, the braking force, the air in the system for the truck to have the braking force necessary for it to stop. There's a secondary function as well. 
these trucks come with an airline that once connected to the connection on the air canister. And that's the compressed air that you hear inside. You can use it to inflate your tires through the valves that are located on each and every tire. This is our 24 volt electrical battery system with a safety switch that once pulled out prevents anyone from starting the truck. Once the safety switch is put back and in the on position, the operator of the truck can start his truck and operate it in normal fashion. Here is our step up access to get to the, the wiring where these wires provide air and electrical support to the container that is being drawn. Finally, a light, which allows you to see, particularly at night, when the connections need to be made. Here we have a vertical exhaust, responsible for throwing the exhaust up and above the cab so that there is no interaction or no interference with the driver or operator of this unit. That completes what's happening on the outside. Let's take a look at what's going on on the inside of our truck. So now that we're inside the cab of our X3000, let me show you some of the features that are associated with this particular truck. You can get it with an optional sunroof, if you like. This particular truck has a 12-speed fast gear gearbox which allows you to access six in the low range and six in the high range using this scooter. And that up and down here in the air discharge allows us to access the gears in the low or the high range. It's manual, so it has a clutch on the left, brake in the middle, accelerator on the right. These trucks come with power steering. Comes with a city horn and what is called an air horn, which is a louder version. Indicators on the left, windshield washers on the right, controls for our side mirrors, power windows, and air conditioning, AM FM radio for the comfort of the driver. On our right, we have the air brake system, which allows us to lock the brakes when the truck has stopped to prevent it from moving. We have sun visors for both the driver and the passenger and the retractable cord which allows the sun visor to go back upwards. Here we have a space for documents. We have lighting for both the driver and the passenger. The seat that I'm on can be adjusted by a number of controls that are on the left to get the driver to the correct height or the correct distance away from the steering. Our steering controls allows us to tilt the steering towards the driver or away from the driver. And please note, safety first, seat belt should always be fasten while operating the partic this particular vehicle. So that covers the interior of the cab that is in front of the driver. However, there's a space behind the driver called a sleeper because this particular cab is called a sleeper cab. It's a little more than six feet in length, which means he can actually, he or she can lie down on this particular sleeper when there is a layover. If there, is a, if there is some rest that is required at any given point in time. Rear view glass that you can see while reversing to see how close you are getting to the box that you're actually picking up. And curtains to reduce the amount of light that comes inside this particular sleeper compartment to ensure that light doesn't affect the time that the driver is getting his or her rest. Other than that, we want to bring your attention to what's below, where we have access to tools such as our jack, our wheel chocks, 
or air lines, small tools like spanners, screwdrivers that allows the, the driver to help him or herself should, there, should the need arise. Other than that, I invite you all to come down to Tankwell Equipment to come and look at this X3000. Get your quotation so that you can get your truck as quickly as possible. Looking forward to seeing you. Thanks.